Body scans are always tricky, but I found I was okay with this one. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I used to not like body scans at all. I found them, or I perceived them to be very rigid, uh, a little dry, uh, mechanical. Um, some people like that aspect to it, but, um, but body scans, you know, there's no one way to do it. A lot of people are familiar with sort of John Kabat-Zinn's style of body scans these days, which are very healing and um, helpful for a lot of people. And the essence of a body scan is really just to see if we can notice how different parts of our body feel without judging it. And so we can bounce around to different parts of the body we don't necessarily need to scan linearly. So we can um, start with our big right toe and then maybe move to our left ankle and then our right hand, and then our left ear, and then our heart, and then our belly. So you can simply bring awareness different to different parts of the body. Um, playing around with even just seeing if we can notice certain aspects of physical sensations. So um, some very, very, very senior teachers will teach body scans by sensing into different um, parts of the body and only noticing temperature, warmth, coolness, a lack of temperature. Um, and then maybe doing another body scan where you only sense into um, heaviness versus lightness, you know, or tension versus a sense of expansion. A um, little bit more advanced, I don't know if that's the right word, but some teachers will do body scans, inviting students to only sense into um, the earth element of um, solidity, um, like uh, sensing into bone, flesh, skin. Um, and then doing another scan of the body, only sensing into the uh, liquid element. So saliva, you know, tears, urine, um, uh, you know, moisture of the flesh. And then doing another body scan where you only sense into um, a sense of uh, air or even space. And technically, according to quantum physics, the element that's that we're mostly predominant of or composed of is space, technically. It's a little harder to sense into because there's a lack of something, but um, but my point is to scan the body, not necessarily going in a linear format, but rather seeing what we can notice without judgment, being with whatever's here, even if it's uncomfortable. And that could include like pleasant sensations too. And being with it, allowing the sensations to be here without judgment and really being curious about these sensations, um, including the geography. And this often gets overlooked. Like sometimes we'll just notice the ankles or the belly or, you know, my shoulders are tense. Well, where exactly? Like how far? So if we're working with our shoulders, like is there, are, are there, is there tension or, 
predominant sensations equally on the left and right? How far up does it go the neck? How far down does it go? How far forward? How far back? And really getting into the nitty gritty, like, is it two inches below the skin? Is it one inch? Is it a millimeter? How thick is it? Um, and really trying not to get into visualizations of it, but rather sensing it from the body. Um, you know, is the thickness the same thickness throughout where you can feel it? Or does it thin out in some places? Are the outside edges the same as the middle? Can you feel into the area around the, the sensations? To get a sense of really where the sensations start and stop. And so by honing in on the geography and the types of sensations we can feel around these sensations, um, the more we can really up our curiosity of it we stay present for what's here without trying to force the sensations to be a certain way, without trying to feel something different. We're not holding on to these sensations to make them stay. We're not, you know, trying to feel a certain way. We're allowing them to be however they are in this moment in this moment, in this moment. So we're allowing them to be here. We're allowing them to change. We're allowing them to intensify, which takes a lot of courage sometimes. And we're also allowing them to go. But this full allowance is what helps these energies to fully process and if we're staying with them without judging them, it's very, very healing in many ways. So we're allowing them to stay, to go, to change, to intensify. And we're staying curious. And oftentimes when we really bring curiosity to these sensations, we notice that um, there's actually something deeper um, that we maybe hadn't realized. <laughs>